Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made this less than $10 Christmas wreath. It is really easy to make and you don't have to spend a bunch of money to make it. We're going to start with the materials. I use a wreath that I got at Walmart for like $1.75. I also have my fabrics. I got red, white, and black. My pattern. I got my little helpers here. I got some mesh and white and green pipe cleaners and ornaments that you can have from your tree or you just can get a package of ornaments, hot glue and scissors. So they're going to help me cut my pattern which you can find on my blog and I'm going to start getting my pattern into my fabric and I'm just going to pin it this way and I'm going to start cutting it. This, this is going to help me a lot of time instead of having to trace the whole thing unless you're making a bunch of uh, Christmas wreaths which you can. And uh, I already have all my patterns cut out and the fabrics that I need. I'm going to start making the legs for the Santa. I'm making a Santa Claus uh, shape for my wreath. So I'm going to start by gluing everything. You can either glue them or you can sew them. I didn't have enough time to get my sewing machine and, you know, um, start sewing everything together. So I decided to just glue it and eventually I'll just come back and redo it. So I'm gonna start gluing the what it could be the socks for Santa, what is the socks for Santa, and or the bottom of the pants. And I'm also going to glue the shoes, which is the black fabric that I have right here. So I'm gonna just for my legs, I'm doing four pieces for the legs because I'm going to fill them up with a little bit of polyfill that I already have over here and it is super cheap to buy those two it's a big bag also for like a dollar or two dollars something like that at walmart and you can also use coupons i mean if you have any around so i'm gonna close the legs i'm gonna close the edge of them and then i'm gonna start filling up with the polyfill as i go i just want to leave enough and enough big enough gap to fill it up so I'm going to go ahead and get little bits here and there. I would recommend you to just use a little bit because then if you don't, your pieces are going to open unless you're sewing. That's what happened to mine. So just like, just letting you know, like you can see here it's kind of opening a little because I put a bit too much in that area. So just play with it and just glue it, hold it for a little longer maybe. I was just trying to rush. Uh, to finish this up because it's a last minute read we realize we don't have any so that's why we're making it like that and uh, for the hat I'm just gonna glue the white part on the bottom and I'm gonna do it on the other side as well just try to make sure that it is completely glued that it's not gonna come off especially where I live it is it gets really windy so I didn't want my wreath falling apart and flying over everywhere here now I'm gonna glue the ball on the hat and I'm gonna close an edge like the boots and I'm gonna start you know um, filling it up with the polyfill as well and I just wanna make it look nice you know have this Christmas spirit on my door I, I wasn't able to put any lights or anything because there is no plugs outside and I wanna have the window open so I'm doing the wreath and I'm just gonna close this up and once I have the whole the whole hat filled up I'm gonna close the bottom because I don't want any polyfill escaping from here so I'm gonna press I'm gonna press firmly and then I'm gonna fold the top so I can so it can look like a Christmas hat and I already has a shape for it so I'm just gonna do it this way and I'm gonna take my wreath and I'm gonna glue the hat into it or you can secure with um, pipe cleaners too if you don't think the glue will be enough so I'm gonna do it this way and now I'm gonna take a pipe cleaner a green pipe cleaner I'm gonna make a hole in my leg of the Santa leg and I'm gonna uh, pass the pipe cleaner through it uh, preferably use a green one that will blend in the wreath and I'm just gonna hold it there and I'm gonna hide I'm gonna tie it in there I'm gonna hide the leg with some of the some of the leaves some of the branches so it doesn't so you cannot tell where it starts 
and I'm going to add the other one as well now it's time for the mesh I cut uh, pieces of mesh depending on how big you read it's the, uh, the mesh you're gonna use I didn't measure this I just kind of winged it or how I wanted it so I'm gonna add the same in green pipe cleaner and I'm gonna attach them to my wreath uh, I alternated colors and I I really like this so I'm just gonna um, probably make another tutorial with mesh because it is pretty fun to play with so once I finish with this I'm going to go ahead and you know just add all the other ornaments everything that you can find that you want to add you can also add a they sell at the dollar they sell at the dollar store this cute little Merry Christmas signs are glittery you can probably hang it from the middle with some crystal thread or um, you know just hang it in there with something maybe with the with the ribbon too it might look cute and I'm gonna finish up with also some pine cones in here I wanted to add another texture another piece of color and for the pipe cleaners I'm gonna twist them in a spiral so that it that is pretty simple you just take either your your finger or a pen a pencil and you wrap it around the pencil the pipe cleaner and that's how it turns out like that so I'm gonna add a couple to my wreath and that's pretty much what it looks like and it was fast I'm gonna finish this up I'm gonna add a bell in the middle too because I like it when you open the door the sound of the bells and you can add a lot more if you want but I'm just adding one so I'm gonna go ahead and this is what it looks like I hope you find this tutorial helpful it was just a quick tutorial last minute Christmas read and I will talk to you next time don't forget that there are more tutorials that you can find and other things other ideas thank you for watching and happy holidays